After successful installation, let's run EDIUS for the first time. Preceding entry into the program, EDIUS prompts us to set up a working folder where it will store all necessary data. For practical reasons, it is advisable to use a path other than to the system hard drive. When working with a laptop, a fast external hard drive is also recommended. After clicking the Browse button, let's set the desired directory. Available drives appear after clicking on My Computer. A drive specifically allocated for a video appears named Video Data. Let's create a new directory specifically for EDIUS. To create a new folder in the selected drive, click on Make New Folder and label it, for example, EDIUS Projects. Confirm by clicking OK and the default project directory is set. Typically, this directory is set only once at the first start, but can be changed easily at any time in the program settings. Therefore, it's ok if you set a path that later turns out unsuitable. Everything can be set quickly and easily if needed, but we'll return to that later. Let's confirm once more by clicking OK and get to the Project Start window. Here you can create new projects or open existing ones. So let's create a new project by clicking on New Project. A Create Project Presets dialog opens where we set all the necessary project attributes. You can see a number of setting options, so the question arises, what's the most suitable setting for the project? This usually depends on the required output or on the parameters used when our video was recorded. Ideally, the parameters of the recording and the output formats are identical. In our example, we have used a Sony PMW200 camera with full HD 1080 50i recording. Therefore, let's set the picture size parameter to HD. Further, we know that the video was recorded at 50 frames per second, so we set the frame rate to 50i. And since we want to work with an 8-bit color depth, we select 8-bit. If unsure about color depth, we recommend using the standard 8-bit depth. After clicking Next, we get to the next step, where you can see available presets, templates, settings. EDIUS offers these resolutions for our selected settings, Full HD and HDV. Let's confirm our selection by clicking Completed. Now we get to the Project Settings window, where we already see the available presets. This is the window that appears whenever a new project is created. It contains our two new presets at this time. However, it is possible to change the preset settings at any time, or to add new ones as needed. We'll go over all that later. For now, let's continue with the name specification for the project we are creating. When working with multiple projects, it's important not to get them confused. When Create Folder with Project Name is selected, an additional folder with our project name is automatically created in the Working folder. This option is always recommended. Just a reminder, the selected directory will store not only the project, but also all other files EDIUS creates while you work on a project. Let's set our project resolution to 1920 by 1080. All available information about the preset settings is displayed on the right. For more advanced users who still need to adjust a thing or two, there is the quick customize option and the setting appears immediately after clicking OK. For us, however, the standard settings we have selected in the previous steps are sufficient. These settings suffice for our needs, but also for anyone just starting with EDIUS. After selecting the appropriate preset, simply finish the process by clicking OK.